today I wanted to make a YouTube video for you guys, obviously, and today I just decided I was going to make it on my manga collection, my manga collection, and I'm just going to go through and show you guys what I got, so I have a lot. Um, this first one is Death Note, my cousin bought it for me for my birthday or Christmas, one of the two, and I haven't read this book, I started I was in the Death Note like three or four years ago when it was on Cartoon Network for the first time. And basically, this isn't really a manga, it's just like a storybook. And I don't really know what it's about because I haven't read it yet. But yeah. Um, the next thing, I have the rest of them in alphabetical order. So I have Absolute Boyfriend. Um, I bought this on, I bought the first one and the second one in Barnes and Nobles. And I really like this one. I read the rest of them online. Most of them I buy the first few volumes and then I read the rest of it online if I can find it because I don't want to spend money. And this one is in the wrong place. So, the next one I have is BODY Body. And this is pretty good too. Most of the time I buy Sojo Manga. manga. Um, so, yeah. This is a really cool, cute one as well. Manga. I say manga and manga. It doesn't really matter to me. I say both of them. I try to say manga more than manga because that's the right way to say it. But yeah, I don't really care. Um, I read this one actually online first before I bought it. And then I saw it in Barnes & Nobles and I just bought the first one. There's only two volumes, so I don't know why I haven't bought the second one yet. But yeah, this is so good. It's like a short story. And it's really cute. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Doesn't want to go back in there. Oh, now yeah, it is. Okay. This is the hardest manga to find new stuff online. I guess because it's still being written, but I think there's only 19 volumes, but there's only 16 out in the U.S. right now. So, I started getting this about two years ago, and I got up to like five or six and then I've been waiting for all these to come out. These come out like once every six months like I swear. This one came out when I started college. This one came out December break. Um, wait, this one came out at the beginning of college. This one came out December break and this one's just now coming out like a couple of days ago. Like May 6th, May 7th. Um, but this is so good. It's like, I hate to compare it to Twilight because this is better than Twilight but it's kind of the same. But yeah, it's getting really good. And if you are into Sojo Manga, you should totally read Blackbird because it's freaking amazing. Um, Dean Angel, I watched the anime first. And my cousin bought the first three volumes for me for my birthday one year. And I love Dean Angel. It's so sweet. It's different. I like it. Um, it's not really, I don't, is this, this isn't a Sojo Manga. But yeah, it's still good. I watch, I read more Sojo than I watch. Well, that's a lie. I read, all the, most of the man mangas I read are Sojo because I like lovey dovey girly stuff and I'm forever alone. So yeah. Um, high School Debut, Debut. This is the best thing ever. I think I got this on eBay as a lot. Yeah, I think I bought the first one in the store and then I saw someone selling like, one through nine and I just asked them could I buy two through nine and eBay is a really good place to find like other people who are probably selling their manga for a cheaper price like normally these are like nine or ten dollars each and if you get a lot maybe if I bought one through nine instead of paying ninety dollars pay like sixty or seventy which is a good deal for instead of buying them inside the bookstore especially if it's an older manga um, I bought this one online too because this was only five dollars and it had an interesting little storyline and I like the artwork in it. It's different, but I haven't really read too much more after that. But I see it in the bookstore a lot. Um, this next one right here, it's I don't think this is a Japanese manga. See, like the art is probably by someone. Japanese, but I don't think this was written by someone Japanese. Anyways, it has the same style, and I love this because it's pink. Like, it's so cute. It's pink. I think this is just like a basically kind of a one-shot manga. Look at Toro. But 
but um, <laughs> this is basically just a one shot manga. Um, and I didn't even buy this. I don't know where this person found this from, but my teacher had this in her little library. Um, her little library of things, and we could check it out. So I checked it out, and I kind of never returned it. And that was in eighth grade, so yeah, she never got that back. She didn't mind either. So if she didn't mind, I didn't mind. Um, also, Kimi needs to okay. I watched this anime, and this anime was freaking awesome. So everyone was saying the manga was better than the anime. Anime, 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 anime. Same thing. I don't know, I need to study Japanese more. But yeah, this is really good. This is really, really freaking good. Like the manga and the, the manga and the anime. So yeah, I need to read the rest of it online. Um, I actually haven't read this yet. I bought this like mm, in April and I haven't read it yet. So I really need to read it. I'm going to leave that out here so I can read this over the break. This isn't a manga either, but it's like a comic book. And I bought this at a book fair. Like, when was the last time anyone's at a book fair? It's been forever. Maybe like ninth grade I bought this, and this book is really, really good. And I wish I could find the second volume, because there's only two or three volumes, and I can never find the second one. It's always the first one that's in the bookstore. And I've never bought it online, so I really want to finish this one day. Um, Two Hearts. I think I, I think there's an anime to this. I don't know where I got this from. I don't think I got this from anybody in particular. I think I bought this from like a manga store, like in Alabama, in Birmingham somewhere. I think that's where I got it from. Because I don't remember buying this book. I remember where I got everything else except for that. Okay, on down to the second shelf. Now, the second shelf is kind of like a mix of things that I got from Japan and bigger books that can't fit on this shelf because that's gets for manga. Um, so, what I have here is a Naruto art book. And I am obsessed with Naruto. Like, Naruto was, like, the thing that got me back into manga and anime and all that stuff. So, I'm obsessed with that kind of stuff. My cousin got that for me. Um, this is a Japanese, um, JJ, uh, magazine. It was, like, 650 yen, but maybe, like, 7 or $8 dollars American money. So, yeah. Um, the next thing I got is New Type, because there was an amazing, um... Japanese anime manga store and anime or whatever Nagano Japan. It's on my Japan channel if you guys want to see what it looks like. It was it was a pretty huge store with a lot of stuff and I bought this and I got it in a plastic but I've opened it before. So yeah. Um this is just uh like a kimono Yukata magazine that I found at a store that they were giving they were actually giving away free um, Yukatas to high schoolers and I got one too so me and my friends got one when we were in Japan um, this is just a notebook that I'm going to use to practice my Japanese in it doesn't have anything in it this is an Naruto drawing book I got when I went to Texas maybe like in 2007 or whatever there's some ugly drawings in here. Because <laughs> I thought I was just like the bomb at drawing. I thought I was going to get better, but I did not, obviously. Um, I just got this. I'm taking Japanese 1 and 2 next semester. So I went ahead and bought the Japanese book, Genki. And so yeah, this is the book and this is the workbook. So I guess I'll get a head start and maybe practice a little over the summer. Now, this is what I got from Japan. This is the first thing I bought when I was in Japan. Weekly Sojin, Sojin Jump. It has one piece. One piece was so popular in 2011. Yeah, I went in summer 2011 and this was so popular. So, yeah. It's the same size as the regular Sojin Jump. Maybe, this this might be a little bigger. Yeah, because I have Sojin Jump down here. I'm not going to do this one, but, oh yeah, that's like triple the size. But, yeah, they were selling this. This was really cheap, actually. I think it was, like, how much was this? 
Hmm. Does it have the price? See, I went in 2011. It's too bad. 2011. I don't even think it has a price on here. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it was only 240 yen. So, three or four dollars, if that. Which is so cheap. But look at all that paper you get. Like, for 240. Um, yeah, put that in the wrong place. But I'll just keep going. I got this when, yeah, obviously when episodes 1 through 37 were in America. So I was obsessed with Naruto. I'm still obsessed with Naruto. Like, literally, I cry over Naruto. So, yeah, this is just like a profiles book. It's got, like, stuff about characters and scenes and stuff like that from, like, the very beginning. Now, this. Okay, here's the story behind this. I actually went to like a Japanese like grocery store and Japanese grocery stores have everything. It's like a Walmart. So they had this like mini mart kind of in the middle of the store and it w they were saying like use manga, use anime, use games. So I was like going crazy over this. This stuff was like a dollar. This was a dollar. This was a hundred yen. And I didn't know what it was. I was just buying it. And when I went to the front counter with three these four books and some other manga they were looking at me like I was crazy like they were kind of like laughing because they knew I didn't understand Japanese and I just bought it because I like yaoi so yeah but um I went to the front and I bought it and they were like looking like ha like she doesn't know what she's getting but I did know what I was getting look at that those are adult books and look at this on the inside Let's see if I can get flipped to a part. Look at that. Look at that. And then the, it's cool because they're all in different colors. Like the other book I saw. So, yeah, it's kind of like a hentai type of book. You look at that. All that nasty stuff. And then in the back, they have actual products that people can buy. How crazy is that? And they have, like, food on the back. <laughs> like, they advertise stuff. But it's really cute. I thought it was cute. And so I bought them. And these were only a dollar because they're older. Let's see. So it's really, 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 really cute. The front was really cute. Well, it was in 2011, but earlier, I guess. In 2011. So yeah. I don't know what they're called. Tress Chess? Chess A Chess Aya. Sweet. Yeah. Um, like I said before, I went to, um, a Japanese manga and anime store, and the, I bought some manga that I knew already, or animes that I've seen, and it was only 400 yen. Oh, manga is four dollars in America, so I'm just gonna go through it. Yeah, like I said, I like Yaoi, so this is, um, what is this? This is, um, crap, what's the name of this? I know what the name of this is. Forgot. Jungo Romantica. Yeah, this is Jungo Romantica. So yeah, it was only oh uh, this was 560. 560. Yeah. And I am obsessed with this manga. It's so going. Um oh I opened the top of it so I can slip it back in, I think. Um for this is um uh, Shiro and Ganta. Um this is freak. I can't remember the names of this stuff. But yeah, this was 540 yen. And it was on TV. I just decided to buy the first one because I was obsessed with that. Penny and Stalking. I went into like this side manga store. It was like a bookstore actually. And I saw this and I just had to buy it. It was this was really cute. And I love Penny and Stalking. And one day when I know Japanese, I'll be able to read this. And look, you even see an advertisement for this anime. I can't remember the name of. Um I'm gonna remember it as soon as I end this video. This was this is five sixties too. So all this is pretty good prices, like five dollars, five or six dollars. And like you guys saw up here, Blackbird. I was obsessed with. I still am obsessed with Blackbird. So number nine was out, 2011 during the summer. Sorry guys, my camera cut off. And yeah, so um. Yeah, number 9 and number 10 were out when I was in Japan in 2011, and this was also, um, well, this one was 400 yen. So, yeah, those are all the mangas that I got. 
It's like basically I got two for the price of one. Um, well, actually, this is in the wrong place. But, anyways, yeah, this is Penny and Stocking DVD. Got this for Christmas. The whole little shebang season on TDS. Uh, it's upside down. But, yeah, if you haven't watched this and you kind of like crazy anime, kind of like um, Fully Cooly, this is pretty good. This is pretty, pretty good. It's kind of adult, though. It's like, it has adult comics, you know, like, funny stuff. But, yeah. Um, these things I also got from Japan. Um, when I was in Japan, I used this a lot. Like, Japanese. Well, I didn't use this one a lot. It has a lot of phrases. And I used that when I needed to say certain things. And it's survival Japanese. It actually had a lot of phrases as well. Um, I really didn't use these as much, as much as I used this. I use this a lot. If you ever go to a foreign country, get the dictionary. Because it will help you. Or it will just help you like more than you think. This, I got all my classmates when I was in Japan to sign this. And I should have got a better, I should have just got a notebook. Because some of it's weird. <laughs> yeah. I think it's more like a photo perikura type book. So... Yeah, so I try not to touch it too much so it won't smear. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, right here, it's kind of like Naruto cards. I'm not going to take them out. And some keychains that I got from Japan. Naruto. And Zinkoji. No. I think I got this at like the um, Ninja Temple. Uh, and I got this as Zinko Juice. It's like a good luck charm. It has a um, little bear on there. I forgot his name. Hmm, I forgot. I forgot his name. But yeah, it's right there. Cause my iPhone doesn't have the little key holders. And I have a silver DS. A couple of games. Right here, I have a Phoenix Wrights and Princess Debut. This game is a pretty, pretty good game. They have these games on iPhones now you can play, but I bought it on the DS a while ago. So, yeah. That is everything. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Might start making, like, anime review videos. I don't know. But, yeah. Alright. I'll see you guys later. Bye.